applying dividing decimals is something that we have to reteach and I'm going to do a quick tutorial for you um, on how to just line these up and, and where to put the decimal when you're all finished. So let's start with multiplication and I know that we see a lot of word problems that involve decimals and fractions and so um, I'm just going to use money uh, $1.68 and I'm going to multiply it by 0 0.25. And really what we want to do um, is stack the numbers and line them up. And when we do that now, I'm going to take a look at how many place values we actually are affecting here. We have two here and two here. Um, and so that means we've got a total of four place values that we have to deal with after we get our answer. I like to write it down because this tells me at the end, okay, I've got to make sure that I put the decimal point for place values back to the left when I'm finished. Because right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just erase my decimal point and look at this, these two numbers as whole numbers. 168 times 25. So I'm going to go about 8 times 5 is 40, 6 times 5 is 30, plus the 4 here is 34. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 3 is 8, so that takes care of that. So now I've got to bring down my 0. 8 times 2 is 16. 6 times 2 is 12, plus 1 is 13. And then 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. If I add these two numbers together, 6 plus 4 is 10, so I carry the 1. 9 plus 3 is 12, carry the 1, and I get a 4. Now it looks like 4,200, but I've got to bring my four place values back. So I'm, if the decimal in 4,200 is at the end, which it is, I've got to move it 1, 2, 3, 4. And so our answer is going to be, I'm going to put a 0 in front of 0 0.42. That's pretty much it. Let's try division. Okay, so we want to take $8.75 and divide it up into groups of 50 cents, it looks like. Remember, 0 0.5 is actually, if we look at it in terms of money, it's 50 cents. And we know that every fraction is a division problem as well. Our numerator which is the number up top, tells us to put this number inside of our fraction house when we do long division. And our denominator, that's the one that's knocking at the door. So 0 0.5 is at the door. All right, so it's a lot easier to divide a whole number that's at the door into either a decimal number or a whole number. And what we need to do then is move the decimal place one place value in the decimal number 0 0.5. If we move it one place value, it becomes just the number 5. But what we've got to make sure that we do, if we move that decimal one place value so it becomes the number 5, we've got to move the decimal the same amount of place values in the number that's inside of our division house. So 8.75 is now going to become 87.5. And now we can divide. 5 goes into 8 one time. When I subtract 5, I get 3. 7 comes down. 5 goes into 37 7 whole times. My decimal can come up. 5 times 7 is 35 and leaves us with 2. We bring down the 5. 5 goes into 25 5 times. And so what we see here is that $8.00 and 75 cents when we divide it by 50 cents that's going to equal 17 and a half times that's pretty much it just remember your place values and where to move the decimals and you should be fine these two examples will get you through anything you need to multiply or divide in regards to decimals